In this video, we're going to be talking about astrology, the problems with astrology, the, sometimes the many big problems with astrology. And some Catholics ask the question, can we do astrology? Can we look at horoscopes, even if it's just for fun in the paper and we don't take it seriously? Is that okay? So in this video, we're going to be talking about all of that and more, and especially the fact that people get ripped off by astrologers, tarot card readers, psychics, horoscopes, palm readers, all of that. 98% of it is all false. They're literally ripped you off. A French researcher who did a lot of research into astrology has proven that people just read into astrology what they want. Half the times it's not even true. Like if they look at a newspaper and they read it and it happens to be true for that day, they're like, see, astrology is true. Oh my gosh, this is my life. Wow, it's amazing. But on all the other days when it doesn't apply to them and it's not true, oh, they just ignore it and wait for the next day. So this French researcher realized that people read into these things what they want to read into them and that they're not true in the first place. We just think they're true. And so this guy actually sent a free astrological reading in the newspaper. And he says, let me know if this applies to you. More than 150 people responded to the newspaper ad and they were sent a 10 page horoscope prediction and reading about a person's life. This is who you are. This is what the stars say. And 94% of people said, yes, this is accurate. This is definitely me. 90% of their family said, yeah, this seems to apply to them. But what the French researcher didn't tell them is that he did not send them their own astrological reading. He sent everybody, all 150 participants, the exact same astrological reading. And the reading was from Dr. Marcel, who is the most notorious mass murderer in all of France. He sent them his astrological reading and everyone was like, yes, that applies to me. That seems to speak to me perfectly. Oh my gosh, the universe knows who I am. And it was from a psychopath and what was said about him and people are applying it to their life because that's what they do. We just apply things to our life, whether they're true or not many times. And Matthew Arnold, who's a Catholic convert, he used to practice tarot cards and he used to to rip people off and make a buttload of money ripping people off and telling them what they wanted to hear. And everyone went away. It was like, wow, this guy knew everything about me because they read into these readings what they wanted. And he made so much money. It was, it was gross how much money he made just off gullible people who just go there searching for answers. He tells them what they want to hear and they go away thinking he knows everything. The bottom line is that most astrologers aren't even true to begin with. And in fact, when and they take a bunch of astrological readings and they put it in front of astrologer, including that own astrologer's personal astrological reading, they can't even locate their own among others. And studies have found that if you send readings to 10 different astrologers, they're going to interpret it 10 completely different ways. Now, someone has to ask the question, which way is correct? How do we know which one is right? And if they all disagree with each other, is it legit? Or are they just making it up from their imagination? And one rigorous uh, scientific study showed that over 3,000 horoscope predictions of all 3,000, only 10% proved true. 10%, not 90%, not even 50%, not even 25%, 10% proved true. And people are paying money for this. They're getting ripped off. There was one famous psychic who was so famous that she actually used to try to help police solve crime cases. They used to consult her because they believed that she was true. Her name was Sylvia Brown, and she used to charge up to $700 for 20 minutes of consultation. And to be consulted for 20 minutes, I mean, it's a crime to charge $700, especially since she was a fraud, exposing her false claims, her false predictions, and many other things. And it was one of the biggest scandals of the day. So these things are not true. And virtually every medium, psychic, tarot card reader, all of those aren't true. And so people really are fooled by this stuff. Don't be fooled. Don't be gullible. Zodiac has shifted over time due to the gravitational pull of the moon. Here, listen to what scientists actually say about this. Astronomer Paul Kunkel says this, quote, since the Babylonian zodiac periods were established millennia ago, the moon's gravitational pull has made the earth wobble around its axis in a process called precession. This has created a one-month bump in the star's alignment, meaning that when astrologers say that the sun is in Pisces, it's really not in Pisces. So 
in plain English, we could go over that in more scientific detail, and we do in my book, Counterfeit Spirituality. But the bottom line is that people who think that they're Pisces are not actually Pisces because it has bumped the astrological signs one month. It has shifted it one entire month. So it's off about 30 days due to the gravitational pull of the moon. So people who think they're Pisces are not, in fact, Pisces anymore. People who think they're Libras are not Libras. In fact, they're not in the signs. They're actually a sign before or after, they're in a completely different sign than they think they are because the constellations have shifted. And when I tell people this, you know, I, I share this information with them, sometimes they're like, really? I didn't know that. I mean, whoa, I have to go look that up. I mean, okay, I might have to just get rid of this. And other people, most people who I tell this to, they're like this, blank stare, thinking about it for about 1.5 seconds. No, 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 they say. No, I'm a Libra. Once a Libra, always a Libra. Boom, let me just close my eyes, plug my ears, and shut off my brain. Because I'm a Libra and that's what's... It doesn't matter if it's true or not. But the reality is they're just closing their eyes to the truth. It's all fake. It's all false. It's all passing away. Scientists tell us this whole world's going to explode and fade away anyways. And if you don't have the real living God who created the universe, then what do you have? Stop putting your faith in false idols and false things that don't save. If you know anyone who is into these things, please send them this video or please buy this book. Check out our new book, Counterfeit Spirituality, Exposing the False Gods. And we talk a lot about Ouija boards and witchcraft and psychics and seances and all that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that, along with yoga, Reiki, centering prayer, uh, acupuncture, karma, reincarnation, or almost any other subject on the new age and spirituality, please check out our book, Counterfeit Spirituality. But please like this video. Please, please, please like it. Please, please, please share it. And please, please, please leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. If you have any questions, concerns, fears, please leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.